Zachary Taylor, the 12th president. Hi everyone, this is Ms. Wendell. I teach at Glen Allen and I'm here to talk to you today about our 12th president, Zachary Taylor. Uh, Zachary Taylor, before he was elected president, was very famous for his military leadership. He was a general in the army um, and he was especially famous for his fighting and his leadership in the Mexican-American War. Uh, when Zachary Taylor was elected, he's president during the antebellum era, which is the time period leading up to the Civil War. This is a time period when debates about slavery and the potential expansion of slavery were really heating up across the country and within our government. Um, and Zachary Taylor had kind of a complicated stance on this issue. Um, he, for example, supported the admittance of California as a free state, which would eventually happen with the Compromise of 1850. That said, Zachary Taylor was not an abolitionist or anything like that. He owned enslaved people. He had a plantation in Louisiana where he owned about 80 enslaved people. Last fun fact about Zachary Taylor is not really all that fun. Um, he died in office in kind of a sad way to go, uh, basically food poisoning. People think he ate some rotten cherries or rotten cucumber or drank some spoiled milk. It made him really sick. He got gastroenteritis and he died in 1850 while he was president. After he died, there were all these conspiracy theories um, that maybe someone intentionally poisoned him and he was assassinated. And they actually dug up his body in 1991 to test it to see if they could find any traces of poison. And they didn't. I think it was just the sour cherries or the spoiled milk that did it. Poor Zachary Taylor.